address the following issues. And the first issue is on the COVID-19 and the world of work. The COVID-19 pandemic is still a major health, social, and economic crisis, which has had major economic, social, and labor market effects in Kenya and the world at large. Pre-COVID-19, the world was upbeat in attaining the Sustainable Development Goals by the year 2030. Of great interest in the world of work were SDG 1, which is on poverty, no poverty, SDG 5, gender equality, SDG 8, decent work and economic growth, SDG 10, reduced inequalities, and SDG 17 on partnerships for the goals. The pandemic has brought challenges of, of unprecedented magnitude, thereby slowing down the momentum that had been built towards attainment of the SDGs. Globally, the International Labor Organization, the ILO, in their World Economic and Social Outlook Trends 2021, noted that the COVID-19 pandemic has caused unparalleled disruption worldwide through the devastating impact on public health, employment, and livelihoods. In 2020, 8.8% .8 of the total working hours were lost globally. The equivalent of the hours worked in one year by 255 million full-time workers. The total employment fell by 114 million and 30 million jobs that would have been created in 2020 were never created. The global shortfall in employment, therefore, increased by 144 million and the working poverty rates have now reverted to those in 2015. On the domestic front, the experts have continued to warn us that the COVID Delta variant is more brutal than either, any other variants we have experienced. Should this happen, then the job and enterprise situation in Kenya will only worsen. Therefore, we should not as a country and as individuals let down our guard in our fight against COVID-19. FKE, therefore, calls upon all, all policymakers to continue to, one, strengthen our healthcare systems and supplies. Two, to observe COVID-19 health protocols and guidelines. And then three, scale up the vaccination program. On this, we urge the government to improve the supply chain systems to make vaccines more available, and further to involve the private sector and businesses in the education and sensitization of the public on the benefits of boosting immunity through vaccination. The second area that we would like to address is on the state of the labor market. Uh, the COVID-19 pandemic has exposed the vulnerabilities in the labor market and especially for those in the informal sector. The government has continued to respond in several ways, including proposing new ways or proposing review and or over, overhaul of various legislations. The Federation wishes, wishes to reiterate that social dialogue is important in any reform, including regulatory changes. This will ensure that we come up with policies and laws that not only protect the vulnerable, but also support the enterprises in these challenging times. Of particular concern, to the employers are proposals touching on five areas. And these five areas are, one is a social protection policy. The second one is on unemployment insurance fund, UIF. The third one is the NHIF amendment bill 2021. And the fourth one is the health laws amendment bill of 2021. And finally, the fifth one is the 2021-2022 National Budget and the Finance Bill uh, 2021. The labor market functions well with strengthened social dialogue and engagements. We therefore call upon the government to promote inclusion, 
stability and predictability in the regulatory environment. This will help the recovery and survival of enterprises. The recent taxation initiatives also have far-reaching negative effects on businesses and the cost of doing business. If the current taxation trends continues, the country should prepare for more job losses and business closures. We need a friendly business environment to support recovery from the effects of this COVID-19 pandemic. The third area that we would like to address is uh, on the need for the politicians to embrace peace and dialogue as we head to the 2022 general elections. As we are aware, peace and stability of the country is a key determinant of economic growth and foreign investment. As Kenya prepares for the 2022 general elections, we urge our political leaders to embrace peace and dialogue in resolving issues as opposed to promoting violence. We urge them to exercise tolerance and accommodate, accommodation in selling their manifestos and in handling emerging differences. We urge politicians and the public to embrace more issue-based politics. As a federation, we are keen to see political dialogue focused on a more inclusive economic model that spurs business activity, builds enterprise resilience, and creates wealth and employment for the masses. This will lead to more households in Kenya being lifted out of poverty to middle class status. And with those comments, may God bless you all and bless Kenya.